Hi students, welcome back. Coming to the next algorithm in uh, election algorithm, next type of algorithm in election algorithm is the ring algorithm. So in the previous video, I explained about the bully algorithm and another type of the algorithm is ring algorithm. So whatever the algorithm that we are taken in the uh, either in the bully or the ring, the main concept here is we need to elect one process as a coordinator. Okay, and that coordinator is going to manage uh, all the process in the network. Okay, so now let's see what this ring algorithm will do. This algorithm applies to the system organized as a ring logically or a physically. So the main concept of this ring algorithm is in this algorithm, we assume that the link between the process or unidirectional. Okay. So, first thing is the link that exists between the processor, whatever the processor that are participating in the network, these process link are unidirectional and every process can manage the process to its right only. So, first this process is managed, after that it, it suppose this is a 1 and the next process it takes a 1 and 2, means this process is manages every process to its right only and next. Here we are using one data structure. So with the help of that data structure, we are going to identify the coordinator. So what data structure that we used in ring algorithm? That is an active list. The active list uh, data structure we are using in this ring. A list that has a pri priority number of all activity active process in the system. So whatever the active process that are participating in the system, those will be placed on the active list and with the highest priority number that we are taking as a coordinator by seeing the active list. Now let's see the algorithm. So if process P1 detects a coordinator failure, so in the same way like bully algorithm, first let us think the P1 detects a coordinator failure. So then what it does? The P1, it creates a new active list. So now it is created a new active list because the, the coordinator active list is uh, destroyed because it is failed. So when it is becomes the active, when it is having the highest number, then that coordinator becomes the, uh, that person process becomes a coordinator. So whenever this is destroyed, this P1 creates a new active list which is an empty initially, starting it is empty. It sends an election message to its neighbor on right and adds a number to its active list. So whatever the P1 processor is there. So next to this P1, there is another process P2. The right of P1 is P2. So it is maintaining an active list. So first one it is there and it maintains an active list 1 and 2. Next it goes to the right of the process. So here it maintains an active list 1, 2, 3. So like that the list adds its number also. Suppose if process P2 receives a message elect from the process on its left, it responds in three ways. In three ways this P2 is going to be respond. How? If message received does not contain one in the active list, then P1 adds two to its active list and forwards the message. If this is the first election, so let's take this is the first election message it has received or sent P1 creates a new active list with a message number 1 and 2. It then sends election message 1 followed by 2. Okay, so if you are, it's a very simple, it's just selecting the right hand side of the processor and taking this active list adding that priority number, whatever the number that it is having in the active list so that is the they are saying if process p1 receives its own election message one then active list for p1 now contains number of all active process in the system now process p1 detects the highest priority number from the list and elect it as a new corner suppose the loop is continue like this 0 3 1 4 so whenever again if it comes to the p1 2 again it comes to the p1 this process P1 thought that okay, it's one is already in the list. So the loop is over. Means I reach uh, I read uh, reach all the process. So then this P1 is going to check in the active list which process is having the highest priority. So here the 4 is ha having the highest priority, and P1 is making 4 as a coordinator. With the help of this data structure, we are identifying which process is having the highest coordinator. 
okay so in the next video i'll explain with an example thank you